Hi everyone, my name is Mary Margaret and today I am here to announce something super, super exciting. So I am actually going to be co-hosting a readathon with two of my favorite people and I am so excited to announce that today and share the details about that. So I just want to give credit where it's due. The person who was behind this brilliant idea and who really put everything together so beautifully is my very dear friend Kara from Wild Book Garden and I will link her channel below for you as well as her announcement video. And then also I am going to be participating in this alongside Taylor from Page Screen Taylor. I will link her channel below and her announcement video as well and I am just so thrilled to be doing this alongside two wonderful wonderful people and their channels are fantastic and I've been watching their videos for forever so I'm just so thrilled again <laughs> I keep saying thrilled but it's because I'm so excited to be a part of this and so I just can't wait to tell you all about it. So this readathon is going to be one installment hopefully of many more and it is the Leading Ladies Readathon and this particular one is going to be focusing on one of my personal favorite actresses and just people in general Audrey Hepburn. So the dates for the readathon are from November 20th through November 30th. And so hopefully for the people that live in the United States, this will be a good time because we will have a nice, hopefully at least most of us will have a nice break for the Thanksgiving holiday. And so I am excited about that myself because I will be on break from school and from work. So I'm hoping to fit in quite a bit of reading during that span of time. I hope that you will be able to join in as well. So the idea behind the Leading Ladies Readathon is really to focus our reading around a particular person. And as I mentioned, um, this particular example is going to be Audrey Hepburn, but we're hoping to do a series of readathons to do with other leading ladies, so different actresses. And I am excited to see who else we choose, but this is just a wonderful place to start. If you know me, you know I have been a huge fan of Audrey Hepburn since I was like, a very very young girl so it's been a very long time and so when Kara sent me this idea I was absolutely excited to jump on board and so this is gonna be so much fun so Kara came up with most of the reading prompts but Taylor also came up with some and I am such a fan of all of them they're so wonderful and so if you are interested you can do all of the prompts you can combine the prompts or you can just pick a few here and there you don't have to do all of them of course hopefully you'll find some to be interesting so the first set of prompts are going to be based on Audrey Hepburn's life, and then the second part of the prompts are going to be based on more of her movies that she was in. So hopefully that makes more sense as I read them. So I've got my phone here so I can read exactly what the prompts are because there's no way I could remember them very clearly. So, life challenges. As a young girl living in the Nazi-occupied Netherlands, Audrey performed silent dance shows to raise money for the Dutch resistance. Read a book with a strong female character whose strength is not physical. Audrey was a fashion icon throughout her career and was especially fond of Hubert de Givenchy's designs. Read a book by a favorite author. In her later years, Audrey Hepburn became very active in social causes current to her time. In honor of our current time, Native American Heritage Month, read a book by an indigenous author. Doesn't have to be an author from the U.S. So there is a readathon that is currently taking place called Indigathon, where there are all of these amazing booktubers who are reading books by indigenous authors and recommending them. So if you're looking for some recommendations, I would highly suggest that you check that out. I know I'm personally going to be doing that as I put together my TBR. So definitely would recommend that and I will link that below as well. Okay, now we're going to move on to the prompts based on Audrey Hepburn's movies. Of course, this is not all of her movies that we are listing, but that would be quite a lot of films. So we've covered a lot here though, so this is gonna be exciting. Roman Holiday. Read a book you think will give you a lot of feelings. I love this one because when I was talking with Kara about it, she was talking about how Roman Holiday just like gets to her and it just inspires quite a lot of feelings. And I totally agree, that movie will just get to you. So I'm excited to pick out a book like that. So this is gonna be great. Sabrina, read a book you think will have some serious character development. Again, very excited about this. War and Peace, read a book that is international for you. Translated, author or setting from different country, etc. Breakfast at Tiffany's, read a book with friends to lovers. The Children's Hour, read a book featuring a female-female romance. My Fair Lady, read a book featuring music or theater in some way. How to Steal a Million, 
steal a prompt from another readathon with credit, this is very important, or a book from someone else's TBR. I'm gonna try to do both because I'm very ambitious. Robin and Marion, read a retelling. Wait until dark. Read something outside of your usual genres. Paris when it sizzles. Read a lighthearted book. So I'm absolutely thrilled to be a part of this readathon, and I will be hopefully posting a TBR video very soon. My school semester is about to come to an end, which means that I will hopefully have much more time to film videos, and I'm very excited about that and also about the extra reading time. Um, I've barely been able to fit in reading, but I've done my best with all of the schoolwork I've been doing and work I've been doing. I'm so excited to be doing this with Kara and with Taylor, and I'm so thankful that I have been asked to join, and I just think it's going to be a wonderful time and I can't wait to do more of the Leading Ladies uh, series because I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I think this is just fantastic. But in the spirit of the readathon, I really wanted to show you guys some of my Audrey Hepburn books that I have collected over the years because in addition to the prompts, I am considering trying to read a book about her that I haven't, that I own. And so I wanted to show you if you are interested in doing this as well. Some of the books that I own, maybe one of them will pique your interest. So here we go. This is one of the more recent ones that I had added to my collection. My dad actually gave it to me for my birthday a few years ago. It's called Audrey and Givenchy, A Fashion Love Affair. And it is a beautiful, beautiful book that is all about, let's see if I can show you some pictures inside because it has quite a few pictures. Um, this is kind of awkward, but it's all about the friendship and the fashion friendship between Audrey and Hubert de Givenchy, who's one of my favorite designers. And it's just this really beautiful book with all these gorgeous photographs of the outfits that were designed for different films that Audrey was in because, of course, Hubert de Givenchy did quite a few of the costume designs for the movies that Audrey was in. So it's just a really fun and quick read about Audrey and her friendship with Givenchy, and I just think it's so cute. They knew each other for, like, decades and decades, and this is a really fast and easy read, so if you're looking for something that's not too dense, this is a really great place to start and it's a beautiful book to own as well. By the way, this is by Cindy de la Haas, so I can put the information down below as well. The next book I have is the Audrey Hepburn Treasures book, and this is a book that has pictures and mementos from a life of style and purpose. So I actually have a book of Sinatra Treasures as well, so I definitely like to collect these. Um, but basically, it has all of these wonderful information pages about Audrey and really fun pictures, but it also has these like really cool packets inside with like memorabilia and little sort of fun elements that are added into it. So I'll show you for example, obviously it's like replicas of original documents, but it's the production call sheet for Sabrina. So just random things like that. And this is a production schedule. So it's like scans of the originals. And these are just super fun, like additional items and they all correspond to the bits of information that are included. And I just think it's a really fun interactive experience. I think I'm probably gonna pick this one to read because I haven't read it yet. I think I got this one last year and I honestly don't know why I haven't read it yet. And if you're wondering why it looks a little battered, it's because it is used. I do try to take care of my books, so I promise it was not me. <laughs> um, but it's been well loved, we'll put it that way. Speaking of well-loved, this is another used book that is quite battered, um, but it's actually in really wonderful condition once you take the sleeve off of it, so, you know. Um, but this was a used one that I got as well. It's called Audrey 100, a rare and intimate photo collection selected by Audrey Hepburn's family. And so here's the back. And this is another one where you just have quite a few photographs with bits of information. Can you tell I like this kind of book? <laughs> So for the most part, this book is just pictures. I think there's very little text, if any, and the point is really just that it's a bunch of pictures, but they are such beautiful pictures that I couldn't pass it up when I found it. And, um, you know, I'm very happy I got it. Oh, such beautiful pictures from Funny Face. It's one of my favorites, love it. Um, so very exciting. The next book is one that I bought for myself when I was in high school. This one is Audrey Hepburn, A Life in Pictures, with a foreword by Hubert de Givenchy, which is really fun. I love the cover, and then on the back it says, As a child, I was taught it was bad manners to bring attention to yourself, and to never, ever make a spectacle of yourself. 
all of which I've earned a living doing. And this is an Audrey Hepburn quote, if you couldn't tell. And this one has just the right amount of text and pictures for a perfect little coffee table book. Again, beautiful pictures from Funny Face, uh, but there are a lot of different pictures in here. And mainly it is a collection of quotes of Audrey Hepburn or about Audrey Hepburn. So, you know, I just love this one. Such a fun one. It says, all I wanted for Christmas was immediately to shoot another movie with Audrey Hepburn. And that's Cary Grant. Love Cary Grant too. So this is just a really fun book to like flip through. So again, if you want something that's really fast and easy, highly recommend. Also just beautiful. The last book is the very first book I got about Audrey Hepburn. And I think I was probably like maybe 13 when I got this book and it is a little beaten up by my own doing and it's because I've had it for so long. This is Audrey, A Life in Pictures by Carol Krenz and this was really what introduced me to the life of Audrey Hepburn. I had seen her in plenty of movies and I loved her but this one really just like cemented my love for her and it has much more information about her than the other two books that I was looking at with like a lot of big pictures and stuff but um it has just whoops so it really tells the life of Audrey Hepburn in kind of a succession from the beginning of her career to the end. And I actually think that at the beginning it even covers some of her childhood, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Yeah, it goes pretty far back. Um, so we see the beginning of her ballet training and everything. And it's just a really cool one to put faces to names and everything about all the people that she knew throughout her life. And it talks about her different films. Um, again, very little text, but it's a fun book nonetheless. So um, I would highly recommend this to anyone who's a fan of Audrey Hepburn. So it's a fun one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below if you're going to participate. And even if you're not, just maybe if you have a recommendation for any of the prompts that I listed, please leave that in the comments because I would love to hear your recommendations. But I am so excited. I keep saying that, but I'm just very thrilled. And I am hoping to post a TBR very soon. I'm still working on that and putting all of that together. But please, 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 please go check out Kara's channel and Taylor's channel because I am just happy to recommend them to you. So if you are a booktube fan, you must subscribe to them. And thank you so much for watching again, and I hope to see you all very soon. Have a wonderful week, and 